Scariest Ocean Creatures Caught on Camera Coming up first, we have Shapeshifter. We all know the concept of shapeshifting in sci-fi, but based on this footage underwater that may well be a reality. This footage was taken 3,700 feet underwater. The footage which was captured by a diving team back in 2013 shows what appears to be a bizarre looking symbol. It kind of looks like a cool tattoo but it's floating underwater. It glides right across the ocean floor and you may think it's litter or man-made. But then this happens. As you can see, it transforms into a cube. It also seems to have red, yellow, and orange lights on its head. It kind of looks like an alien spaceship or an alien creature. The lights then flicker blue and green. Something, this may be a tenophora. That is basically a large glowing jellyfish. But those things don't shapeshift like this thing does. And they're also transparent, not dark black. Next up is Giant Megalodon. Megalodons are said to be the largest species of shark of all time. They lived approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago, but many say that megalodons still exist and are not extinct. After all, there's been many sightings of them and most of the ocean is unexplored. One such video of a possible megalodon was taken in Pakistan. The shark in this footage is 40 feet long, much bigger than any normal shark. It was washed up and then captured by the harbor authorities of Pakistan. They used a construction crane to lift its body onto the harbor. You can see the shark is malnourished as it's not had any food in a long time. But perhaps if it had eaten, it would look as big or bigger than a megalodon. Apparently this was never properly identified and they simply dumped the specimen. Sadly, no marine scientists were let near it. But if they were, perhaps we would have got confirmation that megalodons indeed still exist. Next up is Ninjin. We all know of western underwater creature folklore, for example the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. But Japan has their very own mysterious creatures, which many say are myths. Ninjin is said to be a humanoid life form that is off the coast of Japan. It was originally discovered in 2004 by Japanese whale researchers. And in one video from the Japanese Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, you can see what appears to be a Ninjin. This gigantic creature seems to have eyes and a mouth. The creature looks harmless and playful, but the legend says that ninjins are deadly. Some have said this creature is simply a whale, but there's no species of whale that looks anything like this. So is this a ninjin or is it a different creature we've never discovered before? Either way, it's very amazing and pretty creepy too. Next up is Turtle Snake. One day someone was on St. Simmons Island near Florida in 2018. When they were walking by the coast, they stumbled across something they thought was a log. When they got closer, they realized it was not a log of wood, but instead a bizarre sea creature. This creature has the head of a turtle, but the body of a snake. It also has fins on either side of its body. The man named Jeff Warren quickly pulled out his camera and began recording. Sadly, scientists have not identified this creature, but even after looking at marine biology forum posts about this, no one could be sure as to what it was. Leave a comment below if you think you know what this bizarre creature could be. Coming up next is Megalodon vs Whale. If megalodons still exist, then they would be the ultimate underwater predators. Very few people have ever seen what they claim to be megalodons. And when megalodons have been caught on camera, they usually washed up. This video was taken in the open waters by a fisherman. He was recording a large whale which was near his boat at night. But then the unbelievable happens. A gigantic creature many say is a megalodon scoops up the animal. It threw the whale up into the air and then pushes it back down. This causes a massive splash in the water and the fishermen freak out. This may well have been a megalodon as it was able to pick up a whale. Whales weigh about 200 tons. That's around 200 great white sharks. Leave me a comment telling me if you think this is a megalodon or a different underwater creature. Next up is Champ. Champ is a mysterious underwater piece of folklore you may not have heard about before. Champ is the name of a lake monster said to live in Lake Champlain. This is a 125 mile long body of fresh water shared by New York and Vermont. There's also a portion which extends into Quebec, Canada. Many people in the areas of Burlington, Vermont, Plattsburgh and New York report seeing Champ. Based on the very few images of it, it has a similar appearance to the Loch Ness Monster. Well, this footage taken by fishermen appears to corroborate the scary story of Champ. 
The New York fishermen see the creature poke its head out from the surface of the water. The fishermen went on the news to say this was only a small part of the large creature they saw. Every year there's around 20 sightings of Champ at the lake. Two former FBI agents actually verified this footage the fishermen took. Next up is Ghost Squid. This footage comes from the oil company Shell. Shell have oil refineries in oceans all over the world. These go incredibly deep and they have cameras right at the ocean's floor. In 2008, one of Shell's cameras caught this bizarre alien-like creature. The odd and gigantic creature was near one of their oil platforms. This was off the coast of the USA around 200 miles from Texas. Some say this is a Magna Pinna squid. These are gigantic squids with very, very long tentacles. But this one does look slightly different, and to this day, many say it's alien life. Next up is Toxic Mystery. This may well be a creature, but it's so mysterious we don't really know. In the summer of 2016, residents of Florida found a toxic sludge inside their waters. The sludge was like a green and grey algae. Four counties in Florida declared a state of emergency as this stuff was dangerous. The algae would smell terrible and would cause people to be sick if they smelt it. If you touched it, it would cause skin and stomach irritation. It also gave people headaches and other forms of sickness and burned people's eyes. But the question everyone asked was, why is this happening? Some blamed climate change, and others blamed energy and fertilizer companies dumping things into the waters. This may well have been toxic waste dumped from a chemical factory. This could have mutated into algae creating a toxic mess. It's still a massive scandal and I think someone out there is responsible. But four years later, this mystery is still yet to be solved. And next up, we have Deep Megalodon. This is a piece of Megalodon footage, but it's taken deeper than any other piece of Megalodon footage ever. In 2006, these aquatic researchers were at the ocean's floor. This is where pretty much no one goes because it takes absolutely ages to get down there and it can be very dangerous and expensive. That's when they see a creature that looks like an oversized shark. This was recorded at 3,300 feet below sea level. The researchers used two red laser dots to try and estimate its size and it is indeed the size of a potential megalodon. 10 scariest insects on Earth. Coming up first, we have Assassin Bug. Can you think of a more friendly name than an Assassin Bug? Well, these bugs don't have that name because they're so cute and friendly. In fact, their natural behavior is something straight out of Game of Thrones. These bugs are part of the Reduvidae family, and there are many different species of these bugs. However, all of them can transmit very scary diseases onto humans. This includes Chagas disease. This is an infectious disease which causes your skin to inflame. It also damages your heart, organs, and body tissues. They got their name Assassin Bugs because they're known to strike very quickly. They have long, sharp beaks, which they use to quickly stab their prey. They also inject enzymes into their prey, which causes their insides to go all soft. And then they suck out their prey's insides like a smoothie. One species of this bug found in Malaysia even glues the corpses of other bugs to its back. It kind of uses them as a form of armor. So if you see a bug covered in dead bug bodies, then run. Next up is Giant Orb Weaving Spider. If you don't like spiders, then stay well away from Australia. Down under you get an insect known as the Giant Orb Weaver. You may think that spiders like to eat small insects like worms and mites. But these spiders are so scary, they eat birds. That's right, very large birds are sometimes eaten by giant orb weaving spiders. And the spiders can actually grow pretty big themselves. Sometimes they can be the size of a human hand. And in even more tropical climates, they can be even bigger. So they're humongous, venomous, and eat birds. I think that qualifies them to be one of the scariest insects known to man and bird. Next up is Saddleback Caterpillar. Now, these things look pretty cute. It's almost as if they're wearing a Christmas sweater. But while these things may look cute, they act very scary. They're found all over the southern states of the USA. Many hikers sometimes run into them, and because they look so fascinating, they pick them up. But these hikers don't realize that they're covered in venomous hairs. If you touch them, they will arch your back onto you. They will then stick as many spines and hairs into you as possible. And of course, it injects you with a venom, which could take you out. Yeah, not so cute anymore. Next up is Curved Spiny Spider. 
This is another scary spider you do not want to mess with. These live in the trees in Southeast Asia. You know they're around if you see orb-like webs, because that's what they build. Their bodies are 10 millimeters long, which is pretty small, but they have gigantic horns which are a lot longer. Not only do they have massive horns, they also have spikes around the edges of their bodies. In countries where these are found, they're known to terrify children. Not only do they look scary, but they also love to bite humans. Now, thankfully, their bites are unlikely to take you out, but they could definitely cause a rash or an illness. And if you're allergic, then you may well pass away due to one of these bites. Frankly, they're much more scary to their prey, which involves any small insects in the jungles where they live. Next up is Asian Giant Hornet. I'm sure when you were a kid, your parents said if you see a hornet, then run. But did they tell you about giant hornets? It's no secret all hornets can take humans' lives, but giant Asian hornets are even worse. Their body length is 5cm and their wingspan is 8cm. That's already because they're so much bigger than a wasp or bee. Thankfully though, you will hear them coming as they're incredibly loud, around 10 times louder than a wasp. They feed off other insects, for example honeybees. Sometimes, they'll even go into a beehive and take out the entire hive. And while they don't eat humans, they do take their lives. Their venom is powerful enough to disintegrate human skin. One person who survived an Asian giant hornet's sting said it's like a hot nail going through my leg. That does not sound very nice to me. In 2013, there was a gigantic plague of these in China. Over 41 people passed away and 1600 were injured. Next up is army ants. Did you know that all of the ants in the world weigh more than all of the humans in the world? That's right, that's how many ants there are on this planet. It's thought in the world there's 1 million billion ants in the world. That may sound like a made up number, but it isn't. It looks like this. Army ants are polymorphic. This means that different ants in their colony have different appearances. They can be 2 to 13 millimeters in length. This means they can eat creatures way bigger than them, for example snakes. They overwhelm their prey with their weight and then tear them apart. They have pincers which can dispense acid which dissolves their prey. If you ever run into a colony of army ants, then stay totally still. They detect their prey by movement. One survivor said their sting is so painful it feels like you've been shot. They said it was intense pain, describing it as, quote, like walking over flaming charcoal with a 4-inch rusty nail in your heel. Yeah, that does not sound comfortable to me. Next up is Atlas Beetle. These beetles are gigantic with big horns, and that's why their nickname is the Rhinoceros Beetle. They're one of the biggest beetles in the world, measuring around 6 inches long, and their horns make up a third of that. They have many different spikes on them too, which allows them to flip over their prey. Their legs are also covered in sharp spikes, and its big horns can easily go through human skin. They are mainly found in Southeast Asia. They live longer than most beetles, about 4 to 5 years. And while they don't eat humans, they do bite them. This bite usually won't take you out unless you're allergic, but it will still hurt and possibly give you an infection. Next up is Camel Spider. This isn't some kind of bizarre hybrid of a camel and a spider, although that would be cool and scary. No, these bugs are found all over North Africa and the Middle East. These spiders can be over 8 inches long, and while they don't look like a spider, they are one, as they have 8 legs. Their jaws make up a third of their length, and they also give a very painful bite to humans. They rose to fame when American soldiers in Afghanistan kept finding them in their boots. They go into people's boots as they want to find shade in hot environments. But this is not good when you put your boots on, because they bite your feet. This can sometimes take humans' lives if they're allergic. But that is definitely a bad surprise for any of those soldiers in Afghanistan. Next up is Amazonian Giant Centipede. These guys didn't get their name for no reason, they can be up to a foot long in length. That's right, these are as big as that sandwich you had for lunch. They're found all over Central and South America. They have front pincers which can stick into your skin. Through them they deliver a potent venom. This can be incredibly painful as it's acidic, and in some cases it can even take a human's life. Normally they eat very small animals like birds, rodents, bats, lizards and spiders. And these are also known to crawl up people's trouser legs in places where they're found. So if you ever take a trip to South America, then tuck your trousers into your socks. Otherwise, you may get a very creepy, crawly surprise. 
Next up is Goliath Spider. Goliath spiders are called that because they are the biggest spiders of all. They're about a foot across, bigger than most people's faces. They hunt their prey by building a mat of silk. Then, when a mouse runs over it, they're stuck. That's right, these things take out large animals like rats and mice. They also have fangs inside their mouth which are an inch long. Their bite feels like a wasp or bee sting, and unless you're allergic, it's uncommon that these would take your life. But just looking at how big these things are is so terrifying. Because they're so big, they store up a lot of web which allows them to build webs and big traps very quickly and easily. They're found in various countries, but mainly in Northern South America. You know what, I think I might cancel my trip to South America now. At animals with bizarre colors. Coming up first, we have Black Lion. These black lions are gigantic felines. They're also incredibly rare. Of course, many people know of white lions, which are pretty rare. And there's always the classic orange lions we all know and love. But these black lions are super rare and are very adept at night hunting. They're almost never sighted, but in 2017, National Geographic caught one in Ethiopia on camera. They are originally from Ethiopia and were first seen in the mid-1930s. Some say a genetic mutation of a lion cub made these black lions. Next up is Pink Dolphin. Dolphins are amazing animals that humans love to see and sometimes even swim with. But have you ever witnessed a pink dolphin? This really looks like something you'd see with a rainbow in the background in some mystical land. But no, these are actually known as the Amazon River Dolphins. And the color is actually due to the kind of water the dolphins live in. The darker the water is, the pinker the dolphin will be. The sun's rays cause the dolphins to lose their pigmentation. So if dolphins are in dark water, they will get less sun and stay pink. So, these things began in the Amazon, but they've since been taken out of their natural habitat. And now you can even see them on the Gulf of Mexico and in the USA. Next up, we have Red Slug. These red slugs are known as the European Red Slug. However, they've also been found in Australia, the home of bizarre animals. In Australia, these were discovered first in New South Wales, and they named them the Hot Pink Slug. They kind of look like a flaming Hot Cheeto, but I would not recommend eating one of these. Not only because this 8-inch insect would not taste good, but Australia legally protects them. These aren't just like ants you can squash under your foot. These things are legally protected like a cat or a dog, or a kangaroo for that case. Next up, we have Venus the cat. So this is not some kind of species of animal, but one specific cat in particular. The cat is named Venus and it has two faces. Now, I don't mean this cat's deceitful. I mean, it literally has two different faces. One half of its face is black with a green eye and the other half is orange with a blue eye. This cat, which is a Chimera cat, was found on the internet, on Facebook, and went viral. And it now has over 2 million followers on Instagram. Yep, we all know that moment when a cat has more followers than you do. But you can see why she's so famous, not just because of her looks, but she looks so sweet too. And according to her owner, the cat does not even scratch furniture. This really does seem like it may be the dream cat. Next up is Rosie Maple Moth. Alright, so moths kind of gross me out, but not these ones. These ones look absolutely amazing. If rhubarb and custard was an insect, it would be the rosy maple moth. These moths have yellow bodies and yellow and pink wings and legs. They're found in North America and were first found in 1793. They're very rare, but they are sometimes found in areas like Quebec in Canada and Dade County in Florida. And there's even recently been some reports of them in eastern Texas and Minnesota. So if you live in these areas, keep a lookout next time you're on a hike and you may just see an amazing insect. Next up is Indian Bullfrog. Frogs aren't that interesting when it comes to animals, but that's not the case with this one kind of frog from India. It literally looks like a real-life Pokemon. Its body is yellow and the gigantic bulbuses on their cheeks are blue. And they're found in Myanmar, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nepal. And recently, they've also been added into Madagascar. Maybe this guy will make a feature in the next movie. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to have one of these things as a pet. That way you could play real life Pokemon. But if you do see one of these things in the wild, don't try and catch it in a plastic ball. Next up is Akal Techie Horse. 
This horse breed is known for many things. It has a reputation for speed, intelligence, and endurance. But its most amazing attribute is its metallic sheen. This horse literally looks like it's made of pure gold. The horses do not have long hair, but they do have a long bushy tail. Their sheens are also very, very shiny like gold. And that's probably why they can cost over $100,000. These horses are found mostly in Turkmenistan and Russia, both countries known for amazing animals. But according to eHorses.com, you can pay around twenty dollars to $30,000 for one of these horses. And that's on the low end. Next up is Pink Katydid. Katydids come in many colors, for example bright green or brown. But sometimes, very rarely, you can get these in pink coloring. These insects can be found all over North America, but they are incredibly rare and you will probably never see one. They came about due to a congenital condition of the pigmentation of their fur and skin. This condition is called erythrism, and I'm glad some animals have it as it makes them look so cool. And finally on the list of amazing animals with bizarre colors, we have black butterfly. These black butterflies are very rare specimens. They can be found in various countries in Asia, and they're great when it comes to not being hunted by predators. That is because they can blend in with anything in the night because they're black. Some say they even offer a better model for solar cells. And researchers at the California Institute of Technology have tried to mimic their wings. That is because they're great models for solar cells when it comes to harnessing energy from the sun. The deadliest insects on Earth. Coming up first, we have Giant Japanese Hornet. The giant Japanese hornet is one of the most scary bugs in the world. And if you think these are only found in Japan, then you'd be wrong. Asian hornets have actually gone to almost every continent on Earth, including Europe, Africa, South America, and North America. They're actually not that aggressive if you leave them alone. But if you provoke them even by accident, they will sting you. Inside their sting is a deadly venom. This can attack your nervous system and take you out with just one sting. Their stinger is up to 10 millimeters long and the venom it puts into you is very bad smelling. You can identify them as having a velvety dark brown mid-body. They also have a black head and an orange or yellow face. These are often seen in the autumn and are attracted by live insects, not sweet foods like bees or wasps. Next up is Botfly. This isn't some kind of Black Mirror style robot fly out to kill you. Instead, botflies are usually transmitted via mosquitoes or ticks. A mosquito or a tick may land on you and drop one of these botflies onto you. This botfly then grows into your skin and infects you. Botflies also carry with them life-threatening parasites. So do not leave them on you and make sure to shower every day to make sure they're not crawling into your skin. Botflies are found all over the world, but they're most common in the USA except Alaska, Southern Canada, and Northeastern Mexico. So don't forget that mosquito spray, it may just save your life. Next up is Puss Caterpillars. Do you dislike furry insects? Yeah, me too. Well, if that's the case, then you will not like Puss Caterpillars because they're named after cats. In fact, it even looks like a cuddly kitten you may want to pet. But if your skin touches the spikes of this caterpillar, then a powerful venom will be released into you. This will cause you extreme pain and numbness wherever the venom went in. You'll also have chest pain and difficulty breathing, like you're having a heart attack. These stings typically last around two to three hours, but if not treated, they could last for a day or two. And sometimes they even may take your life. They're often spotted in the USA in Florida's Bay Area. And if you get stung by one of these things, then you need to immediately remove the hair or spikes from your skin. And then see a doctor immediately. Coming up next is Assassin Bugs. Ah, Assassin Bugs, what a friendly name. Well, these bugs do as they say on the tin, assassinate you. They're usually found in poor areas of the USA, and they can infect humans with Chagas disease, among other diseases. Their prey is humans, from which they suck blood. This is why some people even call them vampire or Dracula bugs. But the main scary thing is, they carry the Chagas disease. This affects 7 million people worldwide, mostly in Latin and North America. And every year, 8,000 people pass away from this disease. Next up is Kissing Bug. So this bug really does have a friendly and nice name, but what it does is the exact opposite. 
kind of like a really crazy girlfriend. Seems nice at first, but does not last. In 2019, a girl from Delaware, USA was bitten on the face by one of these kissing bugs. And this then gave her Chagas disease. So basically the same thing that assassin bugs do, but with a nicer name. Other symptoms of getting bitten by this bug include fever and headaches. You can also spot them clearly as they have orange and black stripes around the side of their bodies. Next up is Bullet Ant. Bullet ants can be as dangerous as a real life bullet. They are the largest ants in the entire world and they're mostly found in rainforests. They're also found in countries like Nicaragua and Paraguay. And the reason why they have their name is due to their painful sting. After you're stung by one of these, it feels like you've been shot. Bullet ant stings are 30 times more painful than a wasp or bee sting. And locals in these countries actually call these ants 24 hour ants. That's because the pain from one of these stings can last for a full 24 hours. But how do people pass away due to these bugs? Well you see, bullet ants are usually found in colonies which contain hundreds of ants. If you're bitten by enough of these, this can take your life. Bullet ants also release an unpleasant odor whenever they bite you. The point of that is to make any predators run away, but if they don't, then they take them out with their powerful sting. Next up is Albino Spider. In 2011, a spider was found by scientists in Australia. And despite them being from Australia, they were even shocked. One scientist named Mark Harvey said he nearly fell over when he saw its white head. These spiders can easily be spotted by their white fur and red eyes. And so far, they've only been found in Australia, the home for scary animals. However, these spiders do have venom glands, which can bite you. But because these spiders are so rare, there's no reports of them actually taking anyone out yet. But you never know, so if you're Australian, steer clear of any albino spiders you may see. And finally on the list, we have Tsetse flies. Have you heard of sleeping sickness? Well, the sickness is caused by Tsetse flies. The sickness, which is spread by these flies, began in Africa. And if not treated immediately, it can be fatal. The reason why this can happen is because these flies carry a chemical called trypanosome. This is a chemical they get from feeding of the blood of animals. And it can be very dangerous to humans, so if you ever see one of these big fat flies, then squash it immediately. <laughs>